This video is going to introduce the aggregate supply and aggregate demand model. In this video we'll focus just on aggregate supply. The aggregate demand aggregate supply model shows the total supply and demand in an economy rather than just the supply and demand for one product. It can show us the effect of changes on total level of output and expenditure in an economy. As this is the first video, we'll look at the two axes. On the vertical axis, we have total expenditure of all, on all goods and services in the economy. On the horizontal axis, we have total output, which we could think of as gross national product or national income. I'm going to use NY as national income, but we can also think of that as output. And just as a side note, we use the letter Y there for income uh, because in economics, the letter I is already being used for investment. In an economy, we have a relationship of the level of income equals the level of output and it equals the level of expenditure. This means that for every $1 of expenditure, a business, is, a business would have had to have offered $1 worth of output. This spending then becomes income for somebody in the economy, which is then used as expenditure again. The relationship of $1 expenditure leading to $1 of output being produced is shown in this diagram. We have an aggregate supply curve, the total amount supplied, and as we go $1 worth of income, we go $1 worth of expenditure, and that leads to an aggregate supply curve, which we will just call here AS. Get rid of this an aggregate supply curve, and we don't need to always show this, but just for this one, we'll just mention that this supply curve, because of that one-to-one -one relationship, is going to be 45 degrees. That's how the aggregate supply curve will always look, and the level of aggregate demand will be variable, and it will interact with this supply curve to show the total amount of expenditure and output in an economy.